The idea behind this tour was to actually experience the skate parks and not just have to go show up and perform at the top level. It was less pressure, you know? It wasn't like we show up and it's like, oh, exhibition, wow, do everything we've seen you do in the magazines and in videos. And it was like, hey, whoa, look who's here. What's up? You know, there wasn't like barricades. There wasn't an announcer. There wasn't giant crowds. It was just show up to the park. Whoever's skating gets to see us skate. But it wasn't like, we were there to put on a demo. We were just there to ride it and experience it. I knew, as soon as I came up with it, I'm like, yeah, I'm landing on my head. Just goes to show you kids, be careful. All right? Hey, boy, what's your passion? What's your passion? What been choking on these words that seem undone? Still thinking of an answer, of an answer. Then tore it till your brain is locked in now. Rarely do we ever get to skate with a group of talent that we had on the road. The only time we ever get to ride together like that is when it's in some heated exhibition format or it's in some demo, you know, and you only have a certain amount of time to skate. It's fun to see riders of that caliber that you consider friends all riding together and feeding off each other because it's not very common. If you see a group of guys skating together, it's maybe a couple pros and a bunch of their friends that are, that are good skaters but not pro quality. Yeah, so Rooftop, let's just spill it out. He is our token biker on the trip. We love him, and he's a really good rider, and he adds a totally different element to our scene, but it's mostly a skate trip. I'm 
He's here until either someone comes along that's better or he gets hurt. No, we're just kidding. We love Mike. Come on, Mike. You know we love you. We just like to tease you. But if you do get hurt, you're out. Thanks for coming to our park, man. That's yeah, beautiful. Man. We weren't even expecting that at all. Yeah, it's late, man. We're just here anyways, every night between 9 and 10. It was unbelievable. We're driving down the freeway in Phoenix, heading to a skate park in the temp, outside temp, 117. I don't even want to walk to my car in 117 degree weather, you know? Our brilliant cameraman decided that we could get a shot of an egg boiling on a manhole cover because it was 117 degrees. Obviously, that should be enough temperature to cook an egg. But it wasn't, and that's just some, you know, big misconception. It was fun to try, though. I mean, it should have worked. We're out of lettuce, we're out of tomatoes, can't find any corn, canned peas. Have a van's park in your area is probably the best you can hope for in terms of being a well-rounded skater because it's got street cars, it's got vert, it's got mini ramps, it's got cement, bowls, hips, transfers, all in one contained little package, all in one safe little zone for everyone to try out. All right, that was Van Skate Park in Phoenix. We had a good time and now we're out of here. If you're in Arizona and it's even close to summer months, you better just wait till it gets dark and start skating. Wait till the lights come on at the park and you can head down there. Don't wanna die alone in this car all alone. Somebody pick up the phone. I am a vegetable. The sun
We're just teaching the kids some tricks. Here we go. I don't know. Alex has got some like German tennis player look going. He's not afraid, you know? He's got the hair already, and then he's got a headband that even exaggerates it. What are you looking at? I don't know, it kind of works for him though, the way he flows around the park and his hair is sort of flying in the wind, but sort of bouncing. I always try to include Riley on the tours we do because he loves skating and he loves to check out new places, but it's always hectic as a father to be thrown into the middle of all those people and try to perform myself and keep track of my son and, you know, keep him safe. On this trip, it's way mellow, you know, it's like we just go to parks and there's a few kids there and he can skate all he wants. We brought Sean along because Sean's a really good skater, you know, he's, he's on Team for Birdhouse and um, one of his best friends and so he's got a little cohort in whatever they're choosing to do, sometimes scares me. My little tiny AVIs is where it's at. You know, you guys think you're so sweet with your DV cams, but... This is the new Steez. Kerry kind of gets in his own world whenever we go to park, and he'll focus on one obstacle and just destroy it. Kick flip, front side flip, back side flip, not like flip, you know, and then hit the rail and, and jump over the whole thing. And it's like, it's pretty much if you just stop and watch, it would be the one man carry demo on each obstacle. Sensitive, why to this day a belt is a father's only form of discipline. Major labels and artists rarely be seen eye to eye. Why you never say good things to your loved ones before they die? When they do, I wish I knew spiritually if they're still with you. Why you never stop drinking before the last drink hits you? Why is it okay to drink for marijuana still illegal? Though I don't smoke, I wish I knew how to change it for my people. How to read racist thoughts even before they get spoken. Which slot machine will hit the jackpot using my last token? You never know, right? The way you live. Come on. Yeah, man, we had a great time at this park. Chandler in Arizona had a good time until the lights went out. Now we're going home. Even though our format is relaxed, it's still a tour, you know, and we still have somewhat of a schedule. We have certain cities we want to hit, and we're literally living in hotel rooms, on the bus, at skate parks, and truck stops. And if we're a little late to a park, it doesn't matter because no one knows we're coming anyway. Sorry we're late, guys. Well, huh? Were you coming? Oh, never mind. It's cool.
I actually sit and watch the signs and towns go by. <laughs> you know? uh, I, I find myself sitting up front a lot with the driver, usually. I got my headphones on, I'm listening to music, I like to just see the road go by. And, you know, I do a lot of daydreaming, you know. Think about things and take a look at yourself and what's going on inside you. And the road, the road is a good, a nice place to meditate. And I, I find myself doing a lot of meditating as the, as the wheels are rolling. Today we've we put a three park mission. Not that we've <laughs> we really haven't skated enough on this trip, so we got to hit three parks in one day. So we're gonna go to Los Altos, Calvary, and if we have time, Santa Fe. And uh, I have a feeling that it's gonna be dark by the time we're finished. But supposedly Santa Fe has lights. Ha ha! You don't have to die before you live. My spirit preserved to live. I give my last breath to the rest in peace. With the well, I was on the same team as, as Rodney Olin when we were on the Bones Brigade and we did a couple tours together. And pretty much every tour I've done in recent years, I've invited him and for some reason he couldn't come. He either got hurt or his schedule conflicted or, or he just didn't want to perform in front of crowds. And then finally, I got him to commit to this tour. Flew in to see us and he's gone. Like, we got out of the hotel. Where's Rodney? I don't know. He, he went skating. I'll try. Oh, he's not getting in. Read him, Mike. And we literally pick him up on the street as he's skating. <laughs> for Riley, like, Rodney's this guy that's invented impossible tricks, you know, and he's just like... I get a lot of flack for my age, because they're like, Tony Hawk, he's old. But who's your favorite skater, Rodney Mullen? He's older than me. Albuquerque. 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 We go to the first park with Rodney and 
He's just doing these amazing tricks, you know, landing primo on a bank. I think Rooftop got a little fired up and started trying some, like, overturned peg thing that just went awry. <laughs> We've all been there, you know, but I've never seen someone go down that hard over and over and over and keep going, thinking, I got this next one. Even though the last one was a tragedy. <laughs> you, the f***ing dude you made this one. Yeah, I got a little mad. Sorry to all the moms out there. Try to work on that. Um, Rodney Mullen is one of my skateboard heroes. He was one of the very first pros I ever came across before I was sponsored. The stuff he dreams up and comes up with is just that's beyond me, man. But it gets me fired up, and it makes me want to go out and be inventive and be creative and come up with something new. Wow, I've been skating since um, January 1st, 1977. So, yeah, New Year's Day. So I guess it's been about, what, 20, 26 years? The street skating is all based on flat ground. I don't skate transition anything. So whenever I go on tour with a zillion kids around, I'm super intimidated, you know? Because there's transitions everywhere. I don't know what to do. But this is awesome, because we just go film, have a good time, loose schedule with a bunch of friends, and you get to know the place, and I can just do my goofy tricks and parks and, you know, find some flat banks. It's a lot of fun. I feel like I don't have anything to prove, in a sense. I got senility points. I can go out there, ah, I'm old, it doesn't matter, you know? And I feel free. The road has helped me so much in terms of opening me up and broadening me. I was. Uh, I was like, um, like paralyzed with, it was just, I was so shy uh, among people. I couldn't handle it at all. And it opened me up into so much more. And so it's been really good for me that way. Got to Santa Fe right as it was getting dark, and guess what? Hey, there's no lights there. All right. We were misinformed once again. It was getting dark, and we were on a mission. We wanted to ride the park, you know? We skated until there was basically no light left. Run. Run. I felt kind of bad because there were so many kids there, you know, that kind of heard that we were coming, and then we kind of just showed up and left. That kind of became a demo type of situation for me, where 
you know, I saw I saw a bunch of people standing around wanting something more to happen, and uh, you know, I felt like, man, we needed to do something. Colby Carter and Rooftop and myself, you know, stayed behind and put the lights on and did our thing, and it was for me, it was the best session of the tour. I think it just proves the devotion these guys have for what they do. When all we can do is light up one little area of a skate park, they find it challenging, they think it's fun, and it's a session. Trinidad was my choice because I saw it on the internet and it was awesome. The park was looked fun, it was fun to ride. Carrie Guest did not like it. I didn't bring my surfboard! Because he thought it was kind of too bullish and surfy and not street and I'm in. That's what I like. It looks like California beach or something. I'm not going to be able to skate this place. In Trinidad, who would have ever thought, man? Race face to face, out of place with the face. This lace with blaze in the suitcase. Case solve you and your entourage. Keep it under ball. Stormy dog, feel disrespect. You won't speak at all. Leak through the cracks and crevice. I got a habit like Elvis to drug from weed to the day that I perish. Street merit carried in the respect. Cause I see y'all had enough. I retire. Percy P and Harry. Yo, MED. Yeah. I say give them some more. Percy, I'm cool. Watch out. What Show up? the people what uh. you got in store. I love to push and motivate cats that can't hold their own weight. Come on. It's time while child precipitated with an anticipated no date. 11 to 73 was the day of my birth. Cats get chosen, hoping the call is Michael open. I'll come make it back to the scene. Jack was in a rock promoter. I was on this unspoken mission to basically do a 540 at every park somehow, even if it's just over a hip or whatever. But we do not catch like this a beat. Undispensable, claim invincible. Whenever I kick out, I spit out a hell of a major amount of And Trinidad had vert, so I'm going to try it over the channel. So I tested the channel a little bit, did a backside ollie over it, did a couple errors, and I was carving. And I just pulled off way too far. I could tell as soon as I pulled off, oh, this is bad. I'm over the flat, and I'm going to drop to my feet. And I did drop to my feet, and I think I actually fractured my ankle a little bit. <laughs> I had to get hurt at some point. <laughs> the next day, I realized my ankle was tweaked. Like, it just it wouldn't function. It felt like it was just, it, it literally felt like it just been smashed together inside. Like, all the bones had just, and uh, it was really hard to ride after that. We'd like to welcome Ryan Shuckler to the tour <laughs> and say thank you. Oh, yeah. Um, he doesn't even know. know. He doesn't know where we're at. I just got off a plane. I'm skating for fun. It's great. Here with Sean Stoltz and Riley Hawk. Boulder, Ryan Sheckler. Co Boulder, Colorado. Oh, and we're in Boulder, Colorado.
Ryan Sheckler appears to, uh, at a very young age, and very early in his career, to be maybe one of the most dominant professional skateboarders of all time. And he's connected, you know. He's, he's now a link in that chain that, you know, Tony Hawk and Ronnie Mullen are a part of. He's no longer just a little kid who happens to be good. He's, he's got style and he's got presence and he's advancing things, you know. He's, uh, he's, definitely, uh, he's definitely a one to watch. Couldn't skate at all, but it was fun to watch. Boulder has a lot of good elements to it. If you ever I had to watch just a session like that, that would be the one. There's skate parks everywhere, and I skated skate parks for most of my life. And I uh, stopped for a while, started street skating, and then now coming back to skate parks, I'm getting back, like, I'm getting the vibe I used to have when I go to skate parks and skate with all my friends, so it's great. Well, hi, the pizza K-12, still got props to get. Take out fake two pots for clip, replace your peanut butter with feces to watch it talk more shit. It's a revelation. When Jack speaks, let it know the nation hasn't been under a groove since the days of segregated alienations and crooked-ass false federations. Leading the fraud's religion, call it mentic incarceration, it'll cost the nation a million to keep from getting lost in misplaced and corporate schemes, missing fortunate dreams, don't get it twisted on the left side the coast is where I'm enlisted. Time in the Places like this is just like a healthy environment, you know? It's not tucked back in some sketchy place in town. And so it breeds this sort of like just relaxed, having fun, rather than, oh, we got to focus on this mission and escape from the crowds and escape from the police and escape from everybody. It's just relaxed. And it's creating these kids that just fly around. They're like birds, you know? It's amazing. And whoa. <laughs> Watch how it's gonna move, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep the moving, y'all. Definitely gonna move, y'all. I push forth with a dyslectic offbeat. Tomorrow, Sean White, Bob Burnquist are flying in, and I think Bam Margera is gonna make an appearance. So, where, where do you go from there? I mean, it's just like all-time crew of any crew. Can you hear what's going on behind me? Just huge <laughs> gaps and tech stuff. It's always good to be out on the road with Tony, you know. It, it never gets old for me, you know. People go, well, you've been doing this for 19 years, you know. Like, when you get old, don't you get tired? But I don't get I don't get tired because it's it's always something new and it's always new kids and it's it's always a new opportunity so but I'm thankful for it you know thankful for the opportunity always Thank you Our hours on the bus are filled with watching movies listening to music doing emails and correspondence, editing videos, and gambling. All I did on the road was take Tony the money. That was the first time I ever played blackjack, and I took 650 bucks from him. 
He was psyched. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> Haley was one of the parks I was looking forward to. I saw it on the internet. It was just, it was big, you know, it was a vert paradise. That is the most ridiculous park I've ever seen. Birdman's seven feet tall. He even looks like a midget in that thing. Kids who grow up skating that place, if they actually like figure that out, they're gonna be the greatest skateboarders ever. Because it's made for giants that place. So ridiculous. You can see, I could see the bone. Seriously, and he just wraps it up and goes out skating. My shin has no skin left on it, so whenever I hit it, like pressure, it just splits open. It really did split open this time in a big way. This is what I do for a living. <laughs> Sean White, man, just look out. He's not scared of this big stuff because this is how big the stuff is in snowboarding, so he's an unfair advantage. Best tricks I've seen on this tour, um, definitely Alex Chalmers with the uh, launch from one side to the full pipe to the other. It's, it's so funny to see how his brain works at those concrete parks because Every time he does something, I'm like, oh yeah, why didn't I think of that, you know? <laughs> okay, I am nervous right now, just to let everybody know. I hope nothing goes wrong. That's crazy. Sheckler, right here, like this high, like. Like a kid that's four feet tall getting like seven, eight feet tall is crazy. It is now 10 p.m. Good two and a half hours and we keep going. Look at that, door to door service. <laughs> huh? Out of the emergency room, into the RV, on to Boise. This is our first and only demo of this whole trip. We got the ramp in Boise, um, full last minute as of one week ago. We weren't sure if it was gonna happen, so we'll see how the uh, rumor mill spreads, if anyone knows we're even gonna be here. You know, the whole time, say, hey, you know, this is a, uh, the, the secret skate park tour, and you know, come in and like, all right, we're just gonna show up, you know, and there's traffic all the way there.
basically from the day that I hurt my ankle, I had an inkling we were going to do a demo in Boise, and I was working towards that the whole time, you know, sort of stepping back when maybe I could have skated a little bit, and because I knew that if it's going to come down to demo time, I better be able to skate. Well, if we're going to do a vert demo, we better bring in some vert riders, right? So we got Bob, who I personally think is the best vert rider ever. I know it's raining. And uh, Sean White, who um, is probably the best snowboarder in the world and a damn good vert skater. It's so much fun for me to take my mind off snowboarding and come skate, and it's just, I don't know, just so stoked to be able to do that this year. And, I know, hopefully I can keep doing it every year. I saw the paintings, but just couldn't paint. Take it oh, wow. oh. Hey, Sean, do you even know what that trick's called? You trying? Yeah, it's the... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but no one's ever done it, so watch me do it right now. Sean, for future reference, that is a heel flip body burial from side air, okay? Watching Sean just, just grow up and, and just learn all these tricks and have so much ease with like all these spinning, you know, tricks from, from the snowboarding environment, because it's, it's, it's exciting. I'd say that since I've grown a bit, you know, it helps so much just, just I guess, more power to get out of the ramp and arm length to get the board and stuff like that, you know, like Tony's just got it so easy because he's just got those Huge arms, you know, it just snags the stuff. Certain things I couldn't really do, but for the most part, I did. I was I was happy, you know. I skated well, and there's no way I was going to go into the street course. I think our, our, our street riders are, are sufficient for for that job. I don't think I need to go in there and do any blunts on the quarter pipe. I've seen Sheckler in magazines, and I didn't care, but now that I see how good he is, that kid is the greatest. He lands everything first try, 
Like, I'm trying to kick flip something. He's backside flipping it to the floor. I'm like, I gotta find something else to do. <laughs> He's just, not only is he advanced, I mean, he's, he's just gifted skateboarding. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. He has this magic touch. I mean, we've all seen people come and go like that, and hopefully to stay, like a Tony Hawk. The same thing, he has the same sort of core I see in him. A lot of those guys burn out at the stage. And Ryan, the delicate part is, he's just, he really loves what he's doing. It's not about the money, it's not anything. And so if I can, if I can just keep pushing him in his healthy way, in that same direction, I think, gosh, who knows what he can do. Oh, it's awesome. You know, that's, I mean, you, you've been watching those guys, you know, Sheckler and, and, and Sean for, for a while, and you, you know they have it, and you, they've been skating so good, and then all of a sudden they're really coming into their power, and, and that just, just makes it, you know, makes skateboarding keep going. That's the longevity of it, you know, just keep on going. That's the cool part right now is to think of that, you know, Sheckler and I and, you know, all these other kids are all going to be on the, the new tour, you know. You know, maybe Tony's like on with us and it's our tour or whatever, something like that. I just think it's funny because, you know, once Tony and Bob and all these guys are over it, you know, who's left? It's just us. So it's going to be a really good time once that happens. We did so much stuff, it was ridiculous. I can't even think of it all. I just want to go on another tour. Tony, I'm available. happens to be the best park that we've skated on the whole tour. This place is awesome. What you gonna do when the child comes? How you gonna feel when the wild spits? What you gonna say when he's up in this? Keep moving this. Just bounce with us. He's rocking this. All of my peeps together now. Keep moving this. Just bounce with us. He's rocking this. Doing this for my peeps. When I walk in the streets, cats hit me up. When can I cop the LP? Jack, I know you're coming with it. I know your crew rocking the beach. Y'all got the big old mentality. Searching for something new to sniff out. Never no doubt y'all been putting in work. Creative mentality. Play the mold. Killing them cats. Let it be known when you're feeling them claps. Y'all best bet us to blow. To expect applause in every venue is extraordinary. When you stuck up with dyslexic vocal cord, it's very rough to continue. Sitting you strong. The raw star track architect taking you to where no ears have gone. But now I'm out of the lone in the bone flesh to bury you clones. Feel momentum gaining past you like I was Marion Jones. A motorcyclist in traffic. Here to get your five fingers up in the sky high like them kids in Jurassic. As far as you think, fraudulent cats still pretending. While you sleep, I'm a creep and slice your Achilles tendons like What you gonna do when the child comes? How you gonna feel when the wild spits? What you gonna say when he's up in this? Keep moving this. Just bounce with us. He's rocking this. All of my peeps together now. Keep moving this. Just bounce with us. He's rocking this. Doing this for my peeps. It goes one for the ladies. From Fresno, we wanted to hit Woodward West. Even though all of us were destroyed from skating every single day for two weeks and trying to bust out. Um, but 
It's quite a facility, Little West. I would like to go back there when I'm able to skate and not so um, frustrated and tired and homesick. <laughs> Tony Woodward West, take one. All right, here we are at the somewhat bitter end. Um, my uh, ankle's not really working properly, so I'm a little frustrated. But we had one of the best crews of any tour. Two weeks of nonstop action. So I just want to thank everyone for, for putting on the effort out and joining us. And thank you, thank you. And I'm going to go to the doctor. I'm going to go home. I'll see you later.
He asked me, you know why? Why? I'm on the Hawk Tour. Okay. The Mohawk Tour. Alright, that's why. Right. Stan, how's the tour been so far, bro? The tour's been really good. I'm just wait, we're gonna wait for the light to come on. They said it should take, uh, by 5 in the morning, it'll be completely light again. So, we're just gonna stick it out. Years, you're gonna need a bodyguard. Really? I'm the man for the job, cool. and I'm gonna need to work at the time. So right. look me up. All right. I will. I'll get your phone number. Right. He's already filming this angle. Don't poach him. He's got it covered. Got it. Days like girls just show up to skate parks with bikinis, you know, like no big deal. Like <laughs> there's not water for miles. Like <laughs> teams. How the hell did you get up here? Ha <laughs> ha. 